Okay, so I hope you're not getting bored of these videos. We're going to do some more solo dying. This time we're going to be playing with some different techniques. We're going to be using the food coloring set that I bought from Amazon, which I believe is being, has been shipped from America, so it's slightly different to the one I've used before. I've used the, the black from it for something else to try it out and it does seem to work a lot better than the black that I used before which seems to be just one colour. This does seem to have composite colours in it so I'm going to be, I've wound this into a, a cake and I'm going to soak this in water with vinegar in it and we're going to put that, try and get that in a jar. It's quite a big mass in a little tub with some I'm going to try the copper with that one see if that splits and gives us a nice effect and then I have spent a long time sort of knitting a blank which I need to mordant that's already been mordanted before I board it up this needs mordanting it's got two strands knitted together of the merino yarn there's two 50 gram balls in there and that is one 100 gram ball and this one I'm going to use with the black and I'm probably gonna sort of fold it as I put it in so that we get the segments of different colours so that'll be fun so hopefully that will turn out so let's I'm going to go away and mordant this and then we will soak both in vinegar for a little while vinegar water and then we'll do the dyeing okay so i'm going to add some hot water to the jars there's a bit of cold water in there already so it's not too hot for the yarn yeah and then let's add we'll start with the copper I've already got a bit in there from when I opened it up. I had to dip my knife in to clean it off. Okay, that fills out that much, I think. <laughs> Stick that in. Now I'm going to try and squeeze this big cake of yarn into it. <laughs> squeeze that some more. Like this. that one and now we go with the black put this in again mix it in Now is the end. Okay, try and get the ends a bit even if I can, without making too much of a mess. Mm 
we need to uncut break. Hopefully it'll get differences in color. That's purple there. tomorrow put that outside and put it outside for a couple of days and I'll show you what it looks like in the morning that's what our jar's looking like this morning zoom in a little bit see it's quite purpley at the bottom and then teeny at the top almost mint green very pretty and this one it's got this little bit it's gonna have a resist I think yeah, maybe it's touching the glass, which would be very cool. It's going to get a lot of different colours and things in there. Let's see if you can see at the top view. It does look like the colour's gone through the yarn, which will be interesting. But yeah, can't wait to unravel it. We can leave that out there for a few days to see what happens. Okay, guys, so. Oh, it's exciting. Which one do we start with first? Right there. Maybe this one. Nope. Start with the cake first, I think. This is most intriguing to me. So. Empty water. Water's mostly clear. not penetrated all the way so there's quite a bit of white in there but the colour has gone I don't know if you can see the bit of light in it has gone in there so I'm going to clean this one and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to take it up the opposite way and we'll do the same again with a different colour. sunny spell. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to dry. Might leave it outside 
on top of the shed. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about getting all the water out because we are going to, uh, I mean all the colour, because we're going to add another colour in there. So we'll wash it all properly when it's when we're all finished day. Now this one. Colour is cleared again. Look at that colour. Oh my. Beautiful. It's a little beautiful. Okay, rinse. Colour coming out a little bit of the green, I think. But yeah. right. with some clear dish soap. Oh wow tiny bit of pink on the edge there very nice I've got a bit here that's got like all the colors black pink green blue oh I don't know what to make out of this yet maybe some hand warmers would be pretty or something like that say I'm not a fan of the way that mordant smells. Ugh. The dish soap is lovely. So. I might put a bit more in just to get rid of the smell. <laughs> sort of going. Okay. So now I'm going to let this one dry and I'll come back and show you how it, the colours progress and what kind of patterns we've got and then um, may unravel it onto a knitty noddy. I am waiting for a knitty noddy. if I'm going to be doing this all the time <laughs> which oh, is so much fun I may have to do this again I've also ordered a one of those kids sewing knitting machines move round and round and round to make some blank blanks because this is just I'm having so much fun I want to keep doing it okay so we're going to go away and let all this dry and then we will continue. So I've rewound the cake. It's still a bit damp. Probably should have let it dry a bit more, but I'm so excited. I'm just getting some 
smooth coloring on my spatula. This is the burgundy. Which I think will go nice with the orange. We've got some red bits in there. Let's add some hot water. This jar does actually scare me. I worry about it cracking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I think now. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get that to dissolve nicely. There we go. And you can see it on the spatula, it's got a really pinky color to it. Very nice, very nice. Look of vinegar to the water since we washed all the vinegar out of the yarn or some of it. Okay, now let's do the squeeze again. Ooh, look at that. Let me use the spatula because the water might be a bit hot. This is going to be so much fun. I definitely want to play with this, um, with the black food colouring. I don't know if I've mentioned this already. I think um, I'd like to do, uh, excuse my pyjamas, um, <laughs> the black first and then the Wilton's violet going the other way. That might be fun, so we're going to experiment with that. So there we go. That's setting up there. That's zoom you in. There we go. Where are you? <laughs> Let me just pick up the jar. There we go. So I'm going to pop this outside because it's lovely and sunny and hot again. Still. So yeah. I will get back to you when it's ready to come out. see them. Obviously this is still a bit crinkly the way it's set in the uh, the blank so you can see and if you can see it there are still some pinks in there they sort of just spread out throughout the whole blank and you get like these pinky purpley bits just start I mean really pink bit there look and then there was can find it. I think that was uh, yeah, there. There's like a just 
tiny bit of black, just there. And both skeins are pretty much identical, which is nice. I'm not sure what I'm going to knit with those yet. I will figure something out. And then this. This is amazing. It's it makes me think of like a sunset. You've got that beautiful reddish pink on the one side and then the orange coming through there. So really beautiful colours from the burgundy and copper. That one. That one was just black. So yeah, it worked really well. Um, can't wait to play with some more sock blanks or blanks um, when my knitting machine arrives. It's taken a long time. <laughs> um, I didn't film putting this on the knitting up these because I had two on the go and it was a bit, a bit more awkward than this one. But yeah, hopefully you'll have seen the progression of the colours. Um, so yeah, even on the pinkiest parts we did get a hint of the copper and on the coppery parts we get a hint of the pink so it works really nicely, that one. Really happy with that one. Again, no idea what I'm going to make with it. It's only 100 grams so I'm not quite sure but we'll figure something out. One day. <laughs> At the moment I'm really just having fun just dyeing the yarn and seeing what comes out. <laughs> okay then, so thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.